Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, working on more pieces for the boring mill anchors. Uh, these are going to be the top plates. They got to have a hole drilled through them, and then they got to have the radius put in them, like I did on that video uh, back last year, where I was using the mill to cut a spherical uh, recess. That's not my plan for how to do these this time because it's a time consuming process to do that and I'd like to do this a faster method. So we're going to try and do it with the lathe. But uh, first I got to get all these pieces cut out of this bar stock. So according to the GNL spec they're three quarters of an inch thick so that's what I'm sawing off, off as. I usually try to shoot for uh, my saw cutting within five thou per inch. I don't know what most people expect out of their, their saw cuts, but uh, that's where I like to shoot for. So let's uh, cut one off here and see how close I am. All right, so the supervisor can check us out and be sure we're doing this right. I got my gauge here. Let's see how the saw cut did. 756. Seven fifty five, seven fifty six, seven fifty six. So pretty good for a saw cut. Be within a couple thousandths. This is forty one forty, and I'm out of it. I might have to get some more. So, Bailey definitely wants to have the couch down in the new shop. But we're working here today, so that's what it'll be. Now I got these all cut up. Let's move into the other shop and work on uh, getting the holes punched in these and getting the, the spherical part cut out in them, and these will be ready to go. Well, all right, let me try and get you the next operation here. So, I've got my disc sawn off. All I'm doing is just putting them in the chuck and punching a one inch hole through them. This will be the stud clearance. Run 110 RPM, one inch drill bit. A little cooling cutting oil. Do the next one.
rinse and repeat. I often get comments about the longevity of the spiral point drill bits that I used. Uh, the ones I grind here in my shop on my Cincinnati grinder. And uh, so far I've made 33 of these things. That's all the material I've got for now. I'm gonna have to get some more of this three and a half inch 4140. I need about another foot to finish out what I need. So I'll have to order that up because I don't have any more here. So I haven't resharpened this bit. Let me uh, put this in here and we'll see after doing 33 one inch straight through holes how it is fared. This is 4140 uh, hot rolled. So let's check it out. This is made a one inch diameter hole, three quarter inches through. And again, we're running uh, 110 RPMs. See how it does. One inch through hole. I guess I could mic and see how close it is on size. See if this thing's boring over any. Or how true on size they are. About 1015, so 15 thousandths oversize. Not bad for a single shot there. It is. Pretty obvious the relief is fairly even. Spiral point has not been obliterated. And it's still got an edge on it. So I just thought you might like to see how that was held up. They do pretty good for me. All right, we're over here gonna do the next operation, which for me is to chamfer these outside edges to take the sharpness off and uh, hit the inside here to take the burr where the drill poked through off and get these cleaned up to where they're nice and soft and easy to handle. And then the last operation to do on this is to take the radius tool and turn the sphere in here so let's get this done. It takes a while for it to speed up because it's 440 volt, but it's only running 240.
nice and softened up. So, do the rest of these, and I'll bring you back. All right, so I've got these all dressed off, and they're in plenty good enough shape for being floor pads. Next up, I have here an Eagle Rock Technologies. I believe they call us a. There's the name. I believe they call us a shape lane radius and tool. Uh, it's kind of got a antiquated tool holding design here. Throwback to the old Williams and Armstrongs type. But uh, I guess it'll work. We'll find out. And it comes with this little cranky handle that you put on the side here. And that's how you turn to make your radius. So this thing's adjustable from what side, how far your tool bit sticks out here. Of course, it varies your radius. You can go from like three quarters of an inch radius out to whatever your tool bit can hang out and not just break off uh, three eighths holes. So you can't get too carried away. I think I rate this for maybe three inch max, something like that. Anyway, I don't have to do that big of a radius. I think two inches is what I figured this was the last time. So we'll play around with it and see. Let me get this in the lathe and when I do get that all set up, I'll bring you back and we'll see how this works because I have no idea. Hopefully it works pretty good. It's, it's an American made tool, but it's certainly not cheap. Uh, it seems to be pretty good quality. It's got a little more backlash in it than what I would personally prefer. I think it'd be nice if they had an offset bushing in the side of this that you could use to adjust the backlash, but I guess that was too much to ask for for the price point this is aimed at, but we'll see how it works anyway. I think it'll be fine. So tune in next time and you'll get to find out with me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.